Hi, here I am with another finish. This is the reading room, a Ravensburger 1000 piece puzzle. I chose this puzzle because it was toss up between or a choice between this one and one of Amy Stewart's newest jigsaw puzzles and this one got the most votes. Now this puzzle was very very challenging but with me the bigger the challenge the higher the reward. I'm sure that's a quote somehow some way because that's certainly how I feel when working on a puzzle such as this. Now, I thought I would just do the sorts that I usually have been doing, and that's what you're viewing now, but I did decide to go ahead and work on the puzzle while I was finishing up the puzzle, I should say. I did record that part. I really didn't think that I was going to because, as mentioned, this puzzle was very, very challenging. But it's beautiful, and I am so glad that I got a chance to do it. Thank you for watching this slideshow, and now I will talk to you while I complete the puzzle. So here I am completing this beautiful reading room jigsaw puzzle. This is one of the more challenging jigsaw puzzles because of the many, many books and even how dark the puzzle was, especially since I generally diamond paint most, just about every single morning. And by the time I come in here and work on my blog and then get some rest, I don't start working on this puzzle until evening. And as you can see, it's dark. So with artificial light, it presented quite a bit of a challenge. More than that, this puzzle did not come with a poster as most Ravensburger puzzles do not. So I basically worked on this puzzle as I found the pieces pretty much. I wasn't able to really depend on the box because the box is rather small and the way Ravensburger designs this their boxes, there are parts of a little bit here and there where you cannot see the whole image. Nonetheless, I love this puzzle. Now, in fact, I am going to stop here and show you four similar puzzles that I have in my stash. So I have an Anatolian all 1,000 piece puzzles, two White Mountain puzzles, and one Ravensburger puzzle. Very, very similar styles with the way the books are. So back to my puzzle. As I mentioned, I split my time between diamond painting and jigsaw puzzles. And we can't forget my reading, reviewing, and blogging, and book review videos and all of that good stuff. But what I love about this puzzle is just the intricacies of the all the different things on the puzzle. You have the telescope, you have a cat, you have a dog, you have a couple of globes, you've got a smaller bookshelf, you've got an old fashioned machine that I don't even know what it is and the bookshelves themselves each have something on the shelves and then I did notice when I was putting the puzzle together that the shelves were named like if you were actually shopping in a bookstore or if you were in a library or a reading room as it were the shelves were named, whether they were antiques, whether they were novels, whether they were encyclopedias. But that writing was so small that those were difficult, if not impossible, to ascertain until they were just slotted into their appropriate places. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about this puzzle because I really, really loved doing it. I think it's a lot of fun. Despite how dark it was, I do wonder if I worked on this puzzle during the light of day. Say, for example, I worked on the puzzle during the mornings and then diamond painting in the evenings. Would the puzzle have been any easier? Maybe, maybe not. But 
ease of use is not a priority for me when it comes to jigsaw puzzles. What comes to me with jigsaw puzzles is just the sheer pleasure of assembling them, watching them come to completion and watching myself grow when it comes to the challenge of doing the different puzzles. Now, I keep looking at the wash jig puzzles and I know those are going to be complicated. I look at the crypt puzzles and I know those are going to become be very complicated. But one of these days, I will be doing those. As you probably have seen, I've done, I believe, three gradient puzzles so far. So I am challenging myself with various gradient puzzles. So I just love jigsaw puzzles. And that's why, in fact, I changed my channel name to Robin Loves Reading Puzzles and More. So I'm about to slow the video down a little bit because I am just about done. So enjoy the rest of this puzzling process and I want to thank you so much for watching.